Hello friends, my name is Real Emil and welcome back to some more Need for Speed 2015. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 11 and in today's episode I figured uh, we're going to go and build another car. Last episode we started work on my master build which is the Evo but we're going to take a break from the master build Evo to go and build something else masterfully. Uh, so I think in this episode as well I'm going to sell our BRZ off as much as it has been a loyal companion we're just not going to really be using it anymore so uh, I figured I'd sell it on and the car that we're going to be using in today's episode is going to be the 2016 Ford Focus RS. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to the stream you all decided to come in at once Anyways, the reason I went for the Focus RS is because uh, I've been playing around with this car in uh, Forza Horizon 3 on the Blizzard Mountain expansion and I figured uh, I'd play around with it in NFS 2015 because I do actually kind of like the Focus RS. Anyways, as always, we are going to start by lowering the ride height and looking through the customization options because they did actually add quite a bit to this car. I'm going to remove those fog lights just because I kind of prefer that. Uh, splitter, ooh, we can have some very nice looking splitters. I actually kind of like that one, although I think I prefer that one because bigger. Uh, you've missed 10 minutes, you haven't missed much, to be honest with you, just me looking for a livery. Uh, we'll go for that. Uh, fenders, ooh yes please, I will have some large fenders. Uh, I'm sorry, I like fle uh, fender flares <clears throat> when they're done well, which they are on this focus. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll have that race style side skirt, yes, Lee focus. Um... Oh, that just opens those little ducks, so we'll do that. Um, <coughs> sorry, I have a frog in my throat, as it would appear. Uh, so we'll give it the TRE license plate, we'll give it the Neve Speed headers, rice it. Oh, you haven't seen the wings on this thing yet. They are a certain sort of interesting. So let's go ahead and look at those. So, yeah, you can stick uh, meme spoilers on this. Um... I think I'm going to go for that meme spoiler, just because I kind of like it, because um, it's dumb and big. Um, yeah, okay, right, wheels is, of course, the next thing we are going to need to change. Uh, I think I kind of know what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for RTRs on this. We're going to make them super big, and we're going to make them uh, black, because that makes everything better, right? Uh, I'm going to leave those Brembo brakes in there, probably, because they are quite nice looking. Fenders are nice, yes. No rice, just nice. Um, well, I don't think that ring wing is too ricery, especially considering it's like a proper rally car wing. So, yep. Anyways, there we go. We will just sort the track out so we can get more track uh, because that makes it look a bit better. Uh, and we'll rake it a little bit. Sure, why not? Yeah, that all looks pretty good. Oh yeah, exhaust. We do need some carbon tips on there. The fuck was that last wing? I don't even know. I guess it's supposed to be like a drift wing or something? I have no idea. Anyways, uh, right, as far as upgrades go, we have got about 32 grand to put into this car. Hopefully not going to put all of it in there. Just going to try and do most of it. Yes, Goldberg indeed. Um, yeah, yeah, things have happened since we last encountered each other. Um, hmm. I, hmm. I'm not really, actually, I'm going to go with Action Nitrous because we're going to go drifting in this vehicle, I think, because, well, you know, it looks good. Yeah, I really do like, ah, I should have gone for fully adjustable. Oh, I'm not buying another one. Yeah, I do really like the way the uh, Focus looks, actually, the um, Focus RS. I still prefer the 2013 ST, but, uh, yeah, this car is very nice. Um, oh, yeah, big turbo because rally car needs big turbo. Uh, how big a turbo can we get? Uh, relatively big. We'll go for the one with the most power. Um, and we haven't really got money for anything else. We can do that. So we'll uh, get that. 557 horsepower. Do some quick tuning into the car. Just to... Uh, I want a uh, kind of wide... Yeah, there we go. That's kind of how I want it to be. Uh, lock it a little bit. Lessen the downforce. Uh, brake strength, yes. Send nitrous to power. There we go. Awesome. So that's the focus built. I am not going to. I baby bear. I'm not going to change the color on the car just because I kind of like the blue it comes in. And uh, messing around with colors takes forever. So I was either going to go for a blue or a green, and I've decided to leave it blue uh, because it looks cool in blue. 
the things have happened and it lasted less than two bloody minutes. I know it's a Christmas miracle, really. NFS usually takes a lot longer for me to customise cars. Don't go into the back of the 911. Uh, right, what have we got? Beat the Jim Corner score. Beat Amy using Naki Sans art. That thing. I can't speak today, apparently. Uh, we won't meet Robin because I don't give a fuck. Uh, we'll go do Jim Carner because, well, it's a focus. So let's go do Jim Carner. Um, or it's a focus RS, I should say, because you don't want to do Jim Carner in your dad's focus titanium diesel because that won't end well. And your dad will be very cross with you because you've scratched his company car. Especially if he's a police officer. Anyways, let's just do this King of Snake. Well, that sounds awkward. Well, I guess it makes sense because Ken Block, bro. Because he drives a Mustang. <laughs> right, let's, let's see how well we're going to handle the drift dues. We have police officers already on us, which is, you know, what we really like. I really like having police officers on me. Makes me very moist. Okay, straight away, slow speed drifting we are good at, which is good. Because slow speed drifting is usually relatively difficult on this game. Okay, we're very good at slow speed drifting. The question is how finally decide to make a profit on automation. Hey, good for you. Alright, a bit of speed as we go over the jump of doom and into a shop. Well, that isn't good. I do Jim Connor and whatever I damn... Wh oh. That's not quite what I wanted to do. There we go, lovely. I didn't know if NFS got caught in its occasional trance that it likes to, where it just keeps totaling your car. We have two street racers coming over the hill. We have a police car trying to intercept me and failing massively. There we go, lovely. Alright. How long until I forget about that and build a, a thousand horsepower hatchback? Wait, what? Oh, you, we've got to go through there, have we? Well then, this is why I don't look at stream chat and drive. Also, why is Spike Dudley in this game? Um, because get up, get up, drop the bombshell? I don't know. Because this is out of control. Except it's actually relatively in control because four-wheel drive. Mostly. Maybe the drift button has been selected. Oh yeah, you can't change power distribution on cars in this game. I hate when it does that when the car just wants to continue onwards. It's like, no, let me drift. Do you remember Neve Speed Games had a... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I haven't driven this game in a while. That's my excuse. Uh, what did you all get for Christmas? I got shoes. I got shoes and pyjamas, which I'm perfectly happy with because, you know, saves me money on buying those. Do do do. I think this is the first year we've actually bought people proper presents as well, so that's good, I guess. I don't know, people were happy with what they got for the most part. Ooh, that was a nice little switchwood action. What did you get for Christmas? Drunk. Yes. I didn't. I, I'm speaking like I am right now, but that's just because I've been at work since 6... Well, uh, I had to wake up at 5am to go to work at 6, because yay! Hence why I'm live streaming early. Because <laughs> I have to do this... Well, I actually have to get up at 4 tomorrow, but... Eh. We'll gloss over that. Oh yeah, the peasant got Horizon 3 for Christmas. Nice. We 2k17 and Goldberg. Did you actually? Uh, I don't want to race you because I don't care enough and you're not on my level. So, <laughs> anyways, can't afford booze. Ha 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 ha. You never know. Might be able to afford some booze. Driving the car. Terribly. You see, this would be the worst Jim Carner video in the world. Like, Kenneth of Block would not be happy. Kenneth of the Block, Kenny on the Block, Kenny Block Block would not be happy with my Kim Carner right now. There we go. So the focus is decent. It just needs 
probably some more power would be nice. Admittedly, about 700 horsepower would be nice in this, but uh, it's still not too bad. How did you strut brace lock? Look probably better than it does on my real life car right now. Anyways, oh boy. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I think that was the race where you had simulation stirring or crying because I need the sis to drive properly. Anyways, police car didn't want to trigger him, but oh well. I'm headed back to the bunker. Chris Benware. Made of Lego. Kenneth of the block. Uh, right. Anyway, so we got to meet Manu at the bunker, meet Robin at the lockup. Don't want to do either of those, but if I had a choice, I'd go meet him. Also, this, yeah, this car doesn't feel like 550 horsepower. It really doesn't. Um, I mean, what does the Forza one have? The Forza one has like 602 horsepower, I think, so... Yeah... Also, I've forgotten what I do for, for cutscenes here. I don't know if I leave the microphone on or not. I don't fucking care enough. E86. Man on phone. The song isn't called Frozen, it's called Light It Go. Just saying. Uh, no, I just have been doing this LP for 11 episodes now. It's been going up on YouTube too. Word. Game audio is quiet for a reason. It's because in episode 8 I got a copyright strike um, for the cutscene. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's kind of quiet. They're not saying anything interesting. You can read fucking subtitles. Um, right. What did I need to do? Oh, yeah. Robin. Let's go see what the fuck she wants to. Dee dee dee. Lee dee lee dee. I can't remember if I turned the game up for the cutscenes last time. I don't actually fucking remember, to be honest with you. I don't care enough. It's NFS 2015, no one cares. Although I actually don't hate this game, but whatever. Oh, hey, it's Robin. Oh, hey, it's, it's a buffering joke. <laughs> remember? Yeah. What was the point of any of that? Forget him. He's just jelly. So anyway, next, you and I gotta work on getting our train up to freeway speeds like these. 
see if we can get you some risky devil style. I, I don't want to get risky devil style. I don't like the cunts. I'm sorry, I genuinely don't care about your friends. They're all a bunch of fucking frat boys. <laughs> How does anything bother? <laughs> they have 5G for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, I forgot the phone says 5G on it, doesn't it? Yeah, there you go, it says 5G. Anyways, uh, what we got to do? Beat the target on the route. Alright, let's do that. Wherever it's gone. What's that? Oh yeah, that's the thing. Uh, we'll deal with that thing uh, later. Ooh, this is one of my favourite missions in the game from what I remember because it's very easy. Uh... I saw the trailer around his fault the cutscenes were rendered in the engine. Um, I don't... Has Need for Speed ever done cutscenes in engine before? That's actually a good question. <laughs> Way to cock block Spike. Well, I mean, to be fair, she's the one trying to get his dick, according to the wiki. As strange as that sounds. Yeah, this is one of my favourite missions in the game because it's very easy to exploit this one. Because you get uh, quite a bit of money for completing it over and over again. And it's a time trial that isn't particularly difficult because none of them really are. Other than like the stupid long ones and before I just fail this one. I'll have to see. It's not a... I didn't realise it was a time trial until I clicked on it because it's a Manu mission. And Manu mission shouldn't be time trials but apparently this one is. Also, you like Roman Reigns. Uh, might not be the place for you, then. Um, I mean, he would be likeable if he'd just fucking turn heel. Or did something, <laughs> anything interesting. Roman, why? Anyways. Ow. Smash, crash, bang. So there's a multiplayer race going on over there. I should probably join private sessions, but I kind of forget about that. Completed it with an A86. Nice. If the A86 was... I don't even think undergrounds were rendered in the engine. Because undergrounds are... Eh, well, I guess maybe they are, yeah. Undergrounds are just fucking weird because character models are strange. Oh wait, no, never mind. This isn't the good time trial. This is just a shit one. Um, who's my favourite wrestler? Um, I like Rusev. He's probably my favourite right now. Um, I don't know. Who else do I like? Um, Underground was CGI. Underground wasn't CGI. Uh, maybe it was, actually. Because um, Underground 2 was those horrible newsplay paper clippings which don't work on backwards compatibility. Most Wanted was green screen. Carbon was green screen. This, I'm fairly certain, is green screen, and then Undercover was green screen. Pro Street didn't have cutscenes. Yeah, Pro Street didn't have cutscenes. Um, I don't think any of the Need for Speed games until this one from Undercover onwards. Oh, The Run did. Oh, The Runs were in engine. Everyone forgets the run exists. I'm gonna let's play that game, and that's probably gonna be one of the next Need for Speed games, actually. It really is between the run and Pro Street as to what is next. AJ Styles. AJ is pretty phenomenal uh, right now. Although, yeah, he's still not my favourite, but I, he's really fucking good. You yeah, know, Ambrose is pretty sweet. Anyway, 12 grand. Bulldozer. Sorry for putting an emote. It's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. It isn't bothering me. Um, make you look like something like a clown boy. What's that thing in your hand? Put it down, boy. Because you're not a killer, you're a sound boy. Oh, yeah. Pro, one Pro Street's like only cutscene like the... Oh, yeah, shit. It's got the Rio cutscenes, hasn't it? The ones with... Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Because with the guy with the Evo, that's in Engine 2. Um, I forgot about that. Uh, win the Drift event scouted by Manu. All right, let's do those. What have we got? Carbon had in-game cutscenes in the middle of a race. <laughs> Do Pro Street next. To be honest with you, I am more tempted by Pro Street than the run. Pro Street could be a lot of fun. Uh, provided 
it doesn't carry on my uh, DLC got all parts for free stuff because that's what I've got on my main account. Uh, excuse me. The issue with Pro Street is has a fucking ridiculous amount of fucking DLC. Like all the interesting cars are basically DLC. Uh, although I'm sure there'll be a way around that. Anyways, uh, drift trial get thirty thousand points. Okay, don't mind if I do. Also, why? Uh, because he's an NXT guy and he's probably better there because the main roster wouldn't have accepted him, and they probably won't. <laughs> uh, Christ alive! So the focus. I mean, it's it's not MX5 good. There is no way this thing is MX5 good, but it's 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 all right. It's pretty decent for what it is. Apparently, that checkpoint was like super low to the ground. Get low, get low, get low, get low to the window, to the wall, to the sweat dripping down my balls. Down these females crawl. Down shtishti. Uh, Pro Street was good. I've never completed Pro Street, actually. Um, the only issue with Pro Street, really, is the handling isn't great, especially on, like, a modern level. Anyone know if you can put a LEGO F40 engine into a camper van? Uh, I mean, it's LEGO. You could probably do a lot of things. Probably swap a LEGO LS in if you wanted. Like, going to Forza Horizon 2, you could do that already. Speaking of which, Horizon 2, we should get around to that at some point as well, shouldn't we, considering we're pretty much in 2017 now. I'm, I'm going to do that this year. Because I should have... Because, you know, I did Horizon 1 two years ago now, I think. So, it only seems about time. And then Horizon 3 will be like 2019. Anyways. There's a hidden car part there, but like, I think I've said before, we'll go scouting at some other point. And even if we don't, then we don't. Essentially. Right, let's, uh, let's go and have a look at... The final thing we have to do, which is another drift event, which... Where is it? Where is the drift event that we need to do? It's really hard to... Oh, there we go. Really hard to see on this map, because they've made the icons terrible. Uh, the running power bomb, I quite like it. It looks cool. It's not... Here's the thing, he's done it like a hundred times and it hasn't injured anyone, and then like the two times it does, everyone's like, oh my god. Yeah. Anyways. Start to race, win the drift event, scouted by a Manu. Uh, haha. -ha. Anyways. Let's go indeed. Let's go to a magical place, we're on our way there. That's in my head now, the fucking Toys R Us theme song, god damn it. I don't know why. There's Manu and his Miata. Ta 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 ta, Miata ta ta. Yes. Oh god, alright. Not doing too hot on this, apparently Manu is uh, kicking my little ass. I was gonna finish my LP that no one else will watch. Well, I mean, to be fair, no Americans are around to record anyway at the moment, so... Yeah, but bro... I'm not stopping you from recording the LP, I'm just taking away some of your potential audience. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Or, it's, I should say, potential co-commenter... Pro-com... Pro-commentators? No, they're not pros. Fucking Jesus. About 30 degrees outside. Oh, God. Pretty warm, then. Pretty warm for the middle of December. It's a magical place, we're on our way there. I wish I had my MX-5. Uh, okay, right, now I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh, fuck off. Didn't even hit a fucking wall or anything, it just like hit some garbage comes. it's like, no, you can't do that, that's bad. Fuck you too, game. And just think a couple of minutes ago, I was singing your praises going, It isn't that bad. <laughs> Which is about the nicest thing you can say. I like this game. Don't question 
my likability for all this game. There we go. Seth Rollins. Well, I mean, Sting was too old to be fucking wrestling anyway, and Finn Balor just caught his arm a bit wrong. It isn't technically his fault. I mean, that's kind of like saying, well, you know, Owen Hart injured fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin. But people got over that. Isn't the warmest December in over 100 years or something? It is pretty warm. Like, it's not like t-shirt weather or anything, but like, it is, provided it's not windy, uh, it is pretty warm recently, not gonna lie. Um, I can't say I'm averse to it, if I'm being perfectly honest, oh god. I keep turning into that corner way too late. Might as well kill Manu while we're here. Just because I'll stop him dead in his tracks. Uh, hello Pixel Phase, welcome to the Ned for Speds. Heyo, yes. Okay, right, we are. F Ooh! I hate the AI drivers that just found. Uh, right. Anyways. It's one of these. Crown Victoria. Why can't I drive that? That's more interesting. Forza lets me drive a Crown Victoria. I do. Forza lets me do a lot of things. Uh, right. 12,000 credits, starting to hang it all out pro drift style. Good to watch, man. Good to like. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. As the AI apparently decides to park my car into a fucking wall. That's... Okay, see you later, buddy. Time to put it all together. Oh, boy. We'll do that in a bit. Into cooldown mode, and we're done. Chat is glitching, don't worry about it. Alright, cool. Anyways, I think that's going to end this episode of NFS 2015 off now that we've done that. So we got some drift events done, uh, played around with the Focus RS as well. Turns out, pretty swagging car. Um, next time, we're, what are we doing? We'll probably be building a car that uh, has under 250 horsepower to compete in that... Uh, Magnus Walker race, so join me for that when we do that. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching, friends. My name's been The Real Meal, and until next time, farewell.